Hello and welcome to the WRFL Insider. My name is Kristen. I'm here with Premiership Coach Mark Bullen. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Kristen. Thanks for having me. So let's start by looking back at last year. It was another historic season for the club. What, what are your thoughts when you look back to, to last September? Well, in some ways, relief, but, um, you know, certainly proud of it, the efforts of the footy club, you know, obviously not just last year, but for the last four or five years. And, um, you know, like I said, that grand final was a it was a, a bit different feeling for myself being on the on the boundary line for the first time in, in my career. But, um, you know, we, we planned and prepared to, to get ourselves to a grand final. And end of the day, you don't look at the results. Um, sorry, you do look at the results, not how they get there. It's uh, whose name's on the trophy at the end of the day. And, um, you know, we were lucky to get across the line. But, you know, um, it was a terrific game of football. And, um, you know, it was one of the more enjoyable grand finals success, that's for sure. And you've been with Deer Park for, now, for a few years now. Does the, does the role of coach get any easier? No, it never does. Um, it gets harder as you go along, you know. I, I formed a lot of relationships and, you know, touch wood this year, we haven't had uh, anyone leave the footy club, so we've been lucky in that regard. But um, from going from a player to a coach um, certainly has its challenges and something that I embraced. And I thought, you know, my, my emotions after the game last year were um, one of a coach, not of a player, and it was a, a terrific feeling to go through and, and something that we want to try and emulate again. And you've added Paul Bauer, among others. Can you tell us about how he's fitted into the group? Yeah, Paul's been terrific. Um, obviously, you know, through our net work through Ryan Hallahan who, who played together at, um, at uh, obviously at Carlton. Um, we reached out to him when we knew he was on the market to, to look for a new club and um, fitted in very well, hasn't missed a training session, um, adds a, a very good dimension in through the middle, a six foot three midfielder that can go and play at centre half back as well. So um, he'll be terrific and uh, along with our other recruits this year, you know, we think that uh, we've built a very good strong competitive list and that can hopefully uh, get ourselves to another, you know, certainly finals, but if not a grand final spot. And how has pre-season been tracking? Yeah, very good. Um, like every year, we, we start a, a bit delayed compared to a lot of the other sides, potentially, I don't know. But, um, you know, the last sort of eight weeks has been we've been first class. I think we've got our, our list in a tip-top shape at the moment that we can, uh, you know, we've got a huge challenge against round one against Altona. But, you know, we'll play a couple of dedicated practice matches and, and hopefully uh, the internal competition... Uh, within our side at the moment is is uh, probably at the highest it's been in my time here. So if you're not on your game and you're not performing well and you're not uh, buying into the team uh, first uh, attitude and philosophy, well, you won't play on our side. So it's, uh, it's a good part to be in involved in at the moment. So are you excited for round one? Yeah, definitely. You know, um, last year we played Altona round one. It was a terrific spectacle, probably one of the better games from a from a you know season point of view. So um, they've recruited well. It's their hundred year anniversary, and um, you know we'll be getting our opportunity to unfurl our flag, and I'll be sitting up in my new coach's box. But um, you know it's going to be a tip top game. It'll be a, a great standard of footy. I think the whole WRFL this year, and, and if not suburban footy, will will t certainly take things up a, a, another notch with a development development league abolishment. And um, you know it's going to be a really good spectacle and and something we're going to embrace. You know you got two power forwards at either end, Paddy Rose and Jason Perkins, uh, and two really good midfields. So um, we want to unfurl our flag with a win. But we've got a long way to get there yet, so. Yeah. All the best this season. All no right, thanks for having me. Thank you.